My name is Andrew Robinson, Director of Digital Content for Emotiva Audio. I'd like to welcome you all back to our Home Theater 101 video series, where in this episode, we're going to expand the reach of our existing 5.1 channel home theater system into a 7.1 channel home theater system. If you remember correctly in our last episode, we discussed the placement of our five main speakers in our home theater setup. This included a right and left main channel, a center channel, and two side-mounted surrounds. We also loosely incorporated a subwoofer, however, we will be going over specifics on how to maximize our subwoofer's performance in a future episode. Now, how do we take our existing 5.1 channel system and increase its reach or its performance to encapsulate a 7.1 channel system? Well, it's very simple and it requires only a few key adjustments. From the speaker standpoint, we're now going to add two back channels in the form of a right and left back channel. These right and left back speakers should be mounted approximately or the same height as our right and left surround speakers, but located towards the back of our room. Once our speakers are mounted and in place, we now need to concern ourselves with how to drive them or power them. Well, if we're using a multi-channel AV receiver and it has seven channels of amplification built in, then all we need to do is connect our right and left back channels to their appropriate binding posts on the back of our AV receiver. This is the same process that we did for our five other speakers in our previous episode, so you needn't be worried here. However, if you've built a five channel home theater system around an AV preamp and separate five channel amplifier, then we're gonna have to make some adjustments. We can easily purchase a two channel amplifier and add it to our existing five channel amplifier in order to power those back channels or we can swap out our five channel amplifier for a seven channel amplifier. Whichever one you choose, the process of connecting it to our AV preamp and the speakers remains the same. So again, you needn't worry at all. That is really the only difference between our existing 5.1 channel setup we spoke about in the earlier episode and our now seven channel setup we've installed here. The subwoofer stays the same, our source components stay the same. And depending on the content that we choose to watch, we can either run those seven channels natively using some of the latest surround sound codecs like Dolby True HD and DTS HD Master Audio, or we can use the sophisticated DSP built into our AV receiver or preamp processor to expand a 5.1 channel mix to use all seven of our loudspeakers. The question then remains is whether or not you actually need a 7.1 channel system. If your room is on the larger side or you're trying to uh, encompass multiple seating areas, let's say you have multiple rows of seating in your theater, a 7.1 channel setup is likely going to be best. However, if your room is on the smaller side and you only have a single row or maybe even two or three primary seating positions, then likely you can get away with a 5.1 channel system. The bulk of all movies released today, either on DVD or Blu-ray, feature a 5.1 channel mix. However, not all of these movies have a 7.1 channel mix. So please make your buying decision and setup decision appropriately based on what your needs are and not necessarily on what you think is better or cooler. Because regardless of a 5.1 or 7.1 channel setup, your enjoyment should be the same, provided you follow these simple steps and you've set up your system correctly. Whether you're building a 7.1 channel system from the ground up or simply expanding your existing 5.1 channel system into a 7.1 channel home theater system, the process needn't be difficult, stressful, or even expensive. Want to know more? Visit us on the web at www.emotiva.com or write to me at andrew at emotiva.com.